Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Specs. My name is Stephanie and today we're continuing with our fractions in five. And today we're gonna learn how to multiply fractions. So let's continue. So first we're gonna begin with some fraction basics. Fractions have enumerators and denominators. And what that simply means are the names of the numbers. So the numerators are the numbers on top. So for example, in this, in this fractions um, right here, our numerators would be three and two here. This would be our two top numbers. And our denominators would be the numbers on the bottom. So for, let's say down here, five and four would be our denominator. Okay, and here three and two would be the numerators. Okay, so numerators are the numbers on top and denominators are the numbers on the bottom. So why do they matter? Well, they matter because when we multiply two fractions, we multiply straight across. So we multiply top times top. So our top number times the top number and the bottom number times the bottom number. And that's a little easier to say than numerator times numerator, which you could also um, remember, or denominator times denominator. And it means the exact, exact same thing, okay? So let's go ahead and do some examples. So in this first example, we're asked to multiply 5 eighths times 4 thirds. So I'm going to write out my fractions here. And to multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. So we multiply our top numbers together. So five times four, and we put that over our bottom numbers and we multiply those two together. So eight times three. Now we multiply five times four, this would give me 20 and the bottom eight times four would give me 24. If you want, you can simplify this further if you'd like, but I'm just gonna leave it like this, okay? So let's continue to the next example. In this example, we're asked to multiply one third times three tenths. So I'm going to rewrite it down here. And now I'm going to multiply my top numbers times my top numbers. So one times three and put that over our bottom numbers. So three times 10. So we multiply the top will give me three and the bottom will give me 30. You can go ahead and simplify this even further, but I am going to leave it just like that. Let's go ahead and continue to the next example. In this example, we have one seventh times two fifths, and we're asked to multiply. So I'm going to rewrite this over here. One seventh times two fifths. And now to multiply these, I multiply my numerators together. So one times two are in the numerators. So I multiply those together. And I'm going to multiply my denominators together. So those are the numbers on the bottom. So seven times five, I multiply those together. One times two on the top will give me two. And I put that over seven times five, which will give me 35. And that is how I multiplied those two fractions. Easy, right? Let's go ahead and continue to our final example. In this final example, we're asked to multiply two thirds times one ninth. So I am going to rewrite it two thirds times one ninth. And now I'm going to multiply my numerators together. So those are my numbers on top. So two times one and my denominators together. So three times nine. And two times one will give me two and my and three times nine will give me 27. And that is how I multiplied those two fractions. So congratulations, you have now um, learned how to multiply fractions. In the next Fractions in 5 video, we're going to learn how to divide fractions. Thank you so much for your time and good luck.